Marco Polo. A Remarkable Life of Exploration and Adventure. Marco Polo, 1254-1324, was an Italian merchant, explorer, and writer who is best known for his travels to China and the East during the late 13th century. His accounts of his travels, known as Il Milioni, or, The Travels of Marco Polo, are considered some of the most important travelogues in world literature and help to introduce Europeans to the wonders of the East. Early Life and Family Background Marco Polo was born in Venice, Italy, in 1254. His family was part of the Venetian merchant class and had a long tradition of trading with the East. Marco's father, Niccolo Polo, and his uncle, Mafio Polo, had made several trips to the East and had established trading relationships with various rulers and merchants along the way. In 1260, Niccolo and Mafio Polo set out on another journey to the East, this time bringing along Marco, who was just six years old at the time. The journey would take them through the Black Sea, across the Central Asian steppe, and into the court of Kublai Khan, the Mongol ruler of China. Travels to the East The Polo's journey to the East was long and arduous, taking them through some of the most rugged and inhospitable terrain on earth. Along the way, they encountered a variety of different cultures and societies, and they documented their experiences in great detail. One of the highlights of Marco Polo's travels was his time spent in the court of Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan was a powerful and charismatic leader who had unified much of China under his rule. He was also a patron of the arts and sciences and was interested in learning about other cultures and societies. Marco Polo quickly gained favor with Kublai Khan, who was impressed with his intelligence, his knowledge of the world, and his ability to speak several languages. Marco became a trusted advisor to the Khan and was given many important assignments, including diplomatic missions and trade negotiations. During his time in China, Marco Polo had the opportunity to travel extensively throughout the country, documenting its many wonders and marvels. He described the sprawling cities, the towering mountains, and the vast deserts that he encountered, as well as the many different cultures and traditions of the Chinese people. Return to Italy and Later Life After spending nearly 20 years in China, Marco Polo returned to Italy in 1295. His arrival in Venice caused a stir, as many people were skeptical of his tales of the wonders of the East. However, as Marco began to share his stories and experiences with others, he soon gained a following, and his tales became the subject of much discussion and debate. In 1298, Marco Polo was captured during a battle between Venice and Genoa and was imprisoned in a Genoese jail. While in jail, he dictated the story of his travels to a fellow prisoner, Rusticello of Pisa, who wrote it down in the form of a book. The resulting book, Il Milioni, or, The Travels of Marco Polo, became one of the most important travelogues of all time. It was translated into many different languages and circulated widely throughout Europe, introducing Europeans to the wonders of the East and helping to spark interest in exploration and adventure. Marco Polo spent the remainder of his life in Venice, where he continued to trade and to document his experiences. He died in 1324 at the age of 70. Legacy and Impact Marco Polo's travels and writings had a profound impact on the world. His documentation of the wonders of the East helped to break down cultural barriers and promote understanding between different societies and cultures. His writings also helped to inspire a new wave of exploration and adventure, as Europeans became increasingly interested in discovering new lands and peoples. One of the most notable impacts of Marco Polo's travels was the effect it had on Christopher Columbus. Columbus was inspired by Polo's descriptions of the East and believed that he could reach Asia by sailing westward. This belief led him to embark on his famous voyage to the Americas in 1492, changing the course of history forever. Marco Polo's legacy can also be seen in the many other explorers and adventurers who followed in his footsteps. His tales of adventure and discovery helped to create a new genre of literature, known as the travelogue, which became popular in Europe and other parts of the world. In addition to his impact on exploration and literature, Marco Polo also played an important role in the development of trade and commerce between Europe and the East. His travels and his descriptions of the various products and commodities available in the East helped to stimulate trade and commerce, which became increasingly important in the centuries that followed. Today, Marco Polo is remembered as one of the greatest explorers and adventurers of all time. His travels and his writings continue to inspire people around the world, and his legacy lives on in the many different areas of human endeavor that he touched during his remarkable life. Marco Polo was a remarkable individual whose travels and writings continue to inspire and captivate people around the world.
His documentation of the wonders of the East helped to break down cultural barriers and promote understanding between different societies and cultures. His impact on exploration, literature, and commerce cannot be overstated, and his legacy continues to live on today. Marco Polo's story is a reminder that human beings are capable of great things when we set our minds to it. His spirit of adventure and discovery continue to inspire us to push the boundaries of what is possible, and his legacy serves as a testament to the power of the human spirit. Thank you for watching. For more informative videos please subscribe to my channel Knowledge Hub.